There are many reasons for acoustic simulation, such as noise reduction, sound quality or sound propagation. In some cases, the fluid structure in the action, so-called FSI, plays an important role. This means that the structure experiences a feedback of the surrounding fluid pressure. The following short clip demonstrates the comfortable handling of a coupled acoustic simulation in ANSYS Workbench with respect to a loudspeaker case. A prerequisite for the acoustic simulation in ANSYS Workbench is the ACT Acoustics extension. The easy setup and activation in the Extensions Manager allows us to define acoustics elements, real constants and material properties, to apply acoustic boundary conditions and loads, and to analyze typical acoustics results such as the sound pressure level. The loudspeaker geometry consists of a simplified case and a membrane. Also, the surrounding fluid is part of the geometry. All parts together form a multibody part. The basis for the coupled acoustics simulation is a full harmonic response analysis. After importing the geometry, applying the material data to all parts and defining the mesh size, one can define the acoustic boundary conditions. The first inserted object is the acoustic body. All parts representing the fluid are applied to this object. Depending from the fluid, material characteristics such as mass density and sound of speed have to be adjusted. Next, the acoustic radiation boundary is defined. This infinite radiation boundary assumes that the ratio of the pressure and outward normal velocity is equal to the characteristic specific acoustic impedance. Then, the acoustic FSI interface is created. Therefore, all wall faces of the case have to be selected. The intended strong coupled solution means that both displacement and pressure degrees of freedom are solved simultaneously. Typically, a harmonic response analysis requires an excitation. Therefore, we define acoustic normal surface velocity at the loudspeaker membrane. In the analysis settings, we want to analyze the frequency range from 200 to 400 Hz with 66 solution intervals. Now, the solving process can be started. Let's take a brief look at the results. First of all, we want to evaluate the frequency response of the membrane. It reveals several frequencies where the membrane amplitude is significantly higher. Then we insert the acoustic sound pressure level. Generally, the absolute SPL has the unit decibel. In some cases, it is recommended to weight the absolute SPL according to the threshold of human hearing. Then the unit is called dBA.
an animation of the pressure at one frequency can be achieved by inserting the pressure as a user-defined result. Next, we want to analyze the far sound pressure field beyond the FEA computational domain. Therefore, we insert the acoustic far field microphone, which enables us to evaluate, for example, the SPL over the frequency at a certain location. Moreover, we can analyze the directivity or SPL on a perimeter of an imaginary sphere with respect to a specific frequency. The representation of the SPL at different frequencies in a polar diagram gives important information about sound propagation characteristics. To summarize, ANSYS Workbench enables various acoustic simulations. Among them are pure acoustics and also more complex simulations considering weak or strong coupled fluid structure interaction. Convenient pre- and post-processing combined with efficient solver technology allow a faster understanding of generation propagation, absorption and reflection of sound pressure waves. Now, it's up to you to start with revealing acoustic simulations.